Hello and welcome to TFA Analysis. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Biafra vs. Amazonia. Amazonia, they are not satisfied with what is happening in southern Cameroon. They are now struggling by all possible means to create another war that they cannot fight with Biafra in Nigeria. Biafra, if you don't know, are people, a group of people in Nigeria that have been fighting for separation from Nigeria for so many years. So many years. They have experience. They, they, they have a population of more than 70 million people. And Ambazonia, in their stupidity, are struggling to, to do terrible things. And that is what I keep on saying that they, it is all this is because they have not received any professional training or instruction what fighting is all about. And their leaders are seriously fighting amongst themselves for positions and money. A Biafra, they wrote a letter to Ambazonia giving them serious warning that they are shocked for the provocative invasion that Ambazonia have done in their territory of Buki local government areas of Cross River State. And they, they call Ambazonia terrorists. Terrorists. Not struggle fight, not freedom fighter again as they usually call. They call them terrorists. And they are accusing Ambazonia for killing 20 people in, in, in that local in, in, in Buki. And those 20 people, they say they were transporting Ambazonia or Southern Cameroonians and other traders to, to, to Nigeria. That they will not take this from anybody. And they are investigating this atrocity to see what they have, they have to do. They also condemn it. That Amazonia, what pushed the Amazonia, that the Amazonia was chasing Southern Cameroonians to kill them. And then enter their territory and started shooting. And in, in doing that, they killed but instead Nigerians in which they call Biafras. They say it is unfortunate that our closest neighbors on the borderline choose to start a war that they cannot finish. 60% of their war material are gotten from our land. And we have uh, harbored hundreds of their terrorists and thousands of refugees in our border community. We still don't understand why this miscreant would disrespect international law on a nation's border to cross our borders and kill people. This is what they wrote. So they are confused and they are saying that they are harboring more than keeping more than hundred of terrorists. As they are addressing Ambazonia now, they are addressing Ambazonia terrorists as the government of Cameroon is doing. They still say, this is a terror attack on our territory and we will not condone that. Every reasonable person should condemn this. We don't expect this is a foolish act by our neighbors whom we have worked so closely in our both struggle for liberation of Biafra and Amazonia. If Biafra is saying this, the Amazonia should be careful because all those terrorists that they are keeping in that territory, they can kill them every, any minute. They still say that I have appealed, that is maybe the leaders of uh, uh, the Biafra saying, I have appealed to our members and supporters and community leaders in Boki and other a border community to remain calm. Why wait for their leader, why we wait for their leaders to react to these provocative actions of their boys? Ambazonia, I keep on praying that you should people should be careful. I know you people don't care about your life, but the lives of the people of Southern Cameroon is are uh, is more important. Their lives are more important, and we do not want the government of Cameroon and you guys, the Ambazonia, have done so much atrocity. If you are going again, causing another atrocity from Nigeria to come now invade this territory, then we don't know what to do. 
And the last part of the letter they wrote to the Amazonia is, they should, this I am quoting it, they should know that no people, I repeat, no people, whether you are, whether you are a Goliath or Devi, have monopoly of violence, as we too are capable of mobilizing our men, arm them to invade southern Cameroon. We have find it hard to do so because even even the nearest community in Ambazonia are any groups of cross river state. That is, they have been finding many Ambazonia have been provoking them, but they have been finding it very difficult to attack because of their relationship, their ethnic relationship with um, with Southern Cameroon. They are pitting that these people we are all one. Why should we attack them? And then they are giving warning that Ambazonia should not believe that they have monopoly. They cannot even say they have monopoly of a, 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 a violence because we have seen what Biafra has done in Nigeria. So it is not something when they are talking about a, 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 a fighting and violence, fighting for depression. Biafra comes first in the whole Africa. And if Ambazonia is coming to provoke these people, then I will say these people have an agenda and agenda with the government of Cameroon to destroy southern Cameroon because they care less about anything. They came up in 2017, hijacked all the genuine struggle for, for southern Cameroon and turned it to frustrate southern Cameroonians, to kill southern Cameroonians. All that they have done in collaboration with the Cameroon government is not enough. Now they are struggling to involve Biafra and Nigeria into it. And if these people stand and say they want to fight Southern Cameroon or Cameroon in just a few days, that territory will be, it, 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 nothing will be there. So Ambazonia should be careful. If you have signed a decree or an agreement with any a, a devil to perish the people of Southern Cameroon, know that there is a limit and people will stand against it. This warning, you guys should take it serious.